a lot of our problems will be solved if we can just see. That's all. Not just look. You will know where to go and apply for. You will know where to go to if you can see. You will know where your job is, where your destiny is, what you should be reading. If you can see beyond just looking, you can see. As simple as this thing sound, I now found out in scripture that this kind of grace has to be given to a man. Yeshua told, the, told his disciples, he said, to you it has been given to know the things of the kingdom. Wow. So a man can be in church, yet to know the things of the kingdom would not be given to him. He will know many things, but not the things of the kingdom. Someone tagged me to a video. And when I came online, I saw that tag and I just clicked on that video. And it was a prophet in the East, a so-called prophet. And um, Jesus, we need, to, we need to cry. And this man, he said his name is Onye something. It's Onye Z something. I cried. Yes. That's what Christianity, if Apostle Paul saw that, he would weep. He would weep. And guess what the people that he was doing that whole ritual for? In, in their mind, they were praying. Meanwhile, they held chicken, stood on one small pavement. And then there was all these statues of angels and smoke. I don't know if, if, if you know the person I'm talking about. All these statues and smoke. And guess what they were doing? Oh, my finances. Oh, I... You see, the road to deception is the loss of a man. You will never see them standing there to pray for the kingdom of God. To speak that God, I want to know you know, is all my success, all my breakthrough. I now looked at it and said, why are they tagging me to this thing? And these people were zealously praying for their business, holding chicken. You see, for them, as long as you call Jesus, it passes. Even deep down in their heart, they know this is not God. It's easy to discern what is on ground if you know how to look within here. You can discern if there's peace in a place. He said, if a place is worthy, let your peace be with them. If you are rejected, let your peace. So he... He showed us a dimension to our peace. He made us understand that our peace can actually be an object that can manifest even in, around our physical environment. So if there is peace on ground, if there is a welcoming uh, embrace on ground, then that which is peace within you would manifest outwardly. But if the atmosphere is chaotic, tense, there is doubt and unbelief. Even Jesus will not be able to do many things. Not because there's no power, but his power will remain with him. It will not be able to manifest outside. That is, the Bible would always say something that intrigued me in scripture. Say, Jesus knowing their thought. They were not saying anything, but their thoughts were so loud in the spirit. He knew it. A man that approaches God from a place of doubt will not receive the grace because see, God doesn't have anything to prove to anybody. There's nothing like, oh, hey, if you are real, prove it to me. I never see, it was the Pharisees that kept on asking Jesus that kind of question. If you are the son of God, show us. The Pharisees and Satan. There's nothing to prove. The Bible said, he that comment unto him must what? Believe. Not coming to him to check. Okay, let me see whether this is real. What is what you are looking for that you will see? If it's the kingdom, you will not see it. He that comment unto him must first believe that he is and then is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. There's a very powerful anointing available. When the spirit of high praise comes into a place, it's because God wants to lead his people into a victorious battle. The, the, you know, 
there's about to be victory in the spirit. But if we cannot design that from when we set our heart to come fellowship with God and with the brethren, Satan began to fight you. From when you set your heart, that's okay. I'm going to fellowship with God in the, in, in, among the company of the Salamites. Satan will begin to fight you from that moment. And if you don't conquer that war, you can stay in a place where the anointing of God is heavily present. And yet that peace will not translate into anything that can bless you. Why? Because of their unbelief. Even Yeshua Hamashiach, in all his glory and splendor, all his power and authority, the Bible said he could not do many miracles. Wow. He could not do many miracles. He said, if they, re if they accept you, let your peace remain with them. If they reject you, let your peace return back to you. This simple thing I'm saying, it counts a lot when it comes to spiritual transaction. It counts a lot. You can fake many things, but you can't fake spirituality. Yes. True spirituality is not done before men. It is done before God. So you cannot deceive a spirit with emotions. You can deceive a man. I can come here and pretend that I'm spiritual. But at the end of the day, I'm the, I'm the fool. That's simple truth. The Bible says it's not the hearers that are justified, but those who do the work. The doers. Because the hearers only, scriptures say, they are deceiving their own selves. If there is no contact with God, don't fake it. Sit down and ask the Lord, why am I being resisted? Why am I not having access in the spirit? It is very, very crucial. If not, you can stay in that deception for 15 years, thinking that because pastor is your friend, then God loves you. Pastor can be your friend and yet you will go to hell. Go and learn the parable of Judas Iscariot. Do you know what it means to trust someone with your finances? Judas was that man that Yeshua trusted with his finances. The finances of the ministry was in the hand of Judas Iscariot. You need to be a man of some level of... Oh my God. Before the finances are committed into your hands. That was how important he was. In fact, at the table, he was within the reach of Yeshua. So he said, the one I dip this bread into the cup to and I give it to, that's the one who's going to betray me. He was close. He was within the reach. Yeshua didn't have to stand up to go and meet him. That's to show you how close he was within that cycle. Yet, he was the son of perdition. Sometimes, if Satan wants to destroy you, okay, let me not say this one. But whenever you present yourself before God, you must understand that you are not presenting yourself before a pastor. When I come here, I'm very serious with the worship, with everything, because it must go according to the movement of the spirit I sense within me. There's no celebrity. I want to say I'm a celebrity pastor. I need to sit down in my office. No, no, no. I would come here and sit down with the brethren and worship to make sure everything is made perfect. Because whatever we... You see... We don't know what the ministry of the priest is, sir. Now, part of the duties of the high priest in those days was that he went to sort the lamb that would be used for the sacrifice of the Passover. He would have to painstakingly make sure that lamb was without any form of blemish. You see? And that's, all, that's what we must do. As priests, as, or as people that have been made kings and priests unto our God, we must understand the, the priesthood intelligence by which we should operate in Christ. There's a certain, whenever you come to the presence of God, the Bible says, examine yourself. You examine, you, you sort yourself. It's not a time of distraction. I would, I would have been excited when we were worshiping God here, some people too stood up and they were worshiping God with us because they understand that this is not, it has nothing to do with time for service. 
when a man comes into the presence of God, he has come to present himself before God. What makes this place holy? Is it because of the light or the LED screen? What makes this place? Why are you looking to this place? It's a reality. It's not all these things. These things are holy because they've been consecrated to a God. That's all. That's what makes a thing holy. Someone can still take this TV and watch porn on it. So it's not the TV. The power is not in the TV. Power is in who the TV has been consecrated to. They sent you the microphone. All these things I'm holding here, they are the consecrated things. So beyond this whole stage, this is stage. Someone can take this stage now and use it to do a worldly, a comedy show. So the stage is not the power. The consecration is what makes the stage. Now, if the consecration is what makes the stage, then the one to whom the stage has been consecrated to is the one that should be worshipped, is the one that should be seen. Something, I'm going to share two things with you before, before I begin to pray. There's a dilemma I found in scriptures. He said, seeing they see, but they do not perceive. That's a problem. We have many people looking, but how many people are actually seeing? You can look at a man and not actually see that man. Yes. Because when you begin to see, your sight goes deeper than what is observed in the physical. When you begin to see, you will first, you will first be able to behold what is between you and that man, first of all. And then you will transcend from what is between you and that man into what is in that man. That's what seeing is. This whole world, we are looking. But not too many persons are seeing. Yes. This is enough to send you into a place of prayer. Open my eyes. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. Do you know the invincible forces operating in your, in your neighborhood? A lot of our problems will be solved if we can just see. That's all. Not just look. You will know where to go and apply for. You will know where to go to if you can see. You will know where your job is, where your destiny is, what you should be reading. If you can see beyond just looking, you can see. As simple as this thing sound, I now found out in scripture that this kind of grace has to be given to a man. Yeshua told his, told his disciples, he said, to you it has been given to know the things of the kingdom. Wow. So a man can be in church, yet to know the things of the kingdom would not be given to him. He will know many things, but not the things of the kingdom. Someone tagged me to a video. And when I came online, I saw that tag and I just clicked on that video. And it was a prophet in the East. A so-called prophet. And um, Jesus, we need, to, we need to cry. And this man, he said his name is Onye something. Is it Onye Z something? I cried. Yes. That's what Christianity, if Apostle Paul saw that, he would weep. He would weep. And guess what the people that he was doing that whole ritual for? In, in their mind, they were praying. Meanwhile, they held chicken, stood on one small pavement. And then there was all these statues of angels and smoke. I don't know if, if, if you know the person I'm talking about. All these statues and smoke. And guess what they were doing? Oh, my finances. Oh, I... You see, the road to deception is the loss of a man. You will never see them standing there to pray for the kingdom of God. To speak that God, I want to know you know, is all oh, my success, all oh, my breakthrough. I now looked at you, I said, why are they tagging me to this thing? And these people were zealously praying 
for their business, holding chicken. You see, for them, as long as you call Jesus, it passes. Even deep down in their heart, they know this is not God. Hi. Habalis left shrine and they said, okay, since everybody's making it now with Jesus, Habalis, they left shrine and they now have in divine intervention power ministry. And then all the promises, if we speak now, they say, leave other people alone. You and that person is fake. That's what I'm trying to say. Because you see, the jealousy of God will not allow you. If it was done in Amadjoha's name, I will never say anything. Because that person has come out fully to represent a particular deity. But when you are doing something that is not according to pattern, and you are trying to seal it with the name of our Lord, then there's a problem there. So how would you expect the son of the kingdom to keep quiet because he's popular? You are fake with that person. That's the simple truth. But you see, what drives people there is not a quest to seek God. It's there's one man that if he, if he work for you, your business go open. So the loss of a man is the, is the hook with which Satan will deceive him. Satan cannot deceive a man that has no lust. Yes. Never. According to our loss, that's what carries us away from God. It's loss that carries a man away. Now this is how much sacred things are fallen. So if you rise up today in Nigeria that you want to be, a, that you are a prophet of God, sorry. If you rise up today in Nigeria and say, God sent you. Even though God sent you, genuinely, the people will doubt and insult you because they've met prophets of Baal. How can a man stand in that kind of place and he's praying and he has chicken and this man is putting smoke and cowries and all kinds of stuff. And something does not tell you that Jesus never used chicken to pray for anybody. Yeshua himself never used egg, chicken, never burnt smoke anywhere. Never. I saw another one that this man took people with goats and everything to the riverside and all kinds of stuff. And guess what the sons of Belial will say? They will say, leave them, just preach Jesus. Light is that which makes manifest. That's what light is. Darkness covers. Darkness ignores. He said, my prize that will be many. Tell anybody will be many. Amen. Will be many. This is why we need to mature very fast. This is why we need to see. Not just look, but see. I'm going to make a prayer now. Open my eyes that I may see. Just pray quietly from a sincere heart. Open my heart, eyes. Hello, thank you for watching the video. And I hope it was a great asset to you. And I hope it will go to my this time. If you haven't commented, if you haven't liked it, please do that. And for more videos, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos. God bless you.